hell of a job coaching. I mean, in my estimation, you know, it's always funny. Steve Kerr got coach of the year, and it's the classic debate, like, is it the person who should win who did more with probably a less talented team? I think. Or the most with the the most talent? Right. Wh- who is a better coaching job? It's a question maybe for another day, but, man, well, again, Terry Stott should have been in that conversation. Steve, Steve Kerr didn't coach the entire year. I know. So, I don't know. I mean, uh, Luke not- Walton actually had more wins than him. Really? Yeah, 39. and So, uh, how do you give it to Steve Kerr? I'm sorry, and I don't mean to disrespect what he did because it is you know that team's good and you you can't fault him right but i don't know how you give it to him it doesn't to me it doesn't make any sense that's all that's a whole other topic for another day well but. it's weird you would think you know like to be to be like the three-point champion percentage or most made or whatever um you have to have a minimum number of attempts like in baseball like to win the batting average i think it's you have to have at least 200 at bats you can't just have 50 at bats right. you know so maybe it's something they need to consider, whether it's MVP voting or coach of the year, that you actually have to be on the bench for 50 games or yeah. something. I don't know. To me, I, I don't know, man. It's um, What I, you're I, saying is you'd like to take a shot at coaching the Golden State Warriors I, I, and see how many games you, know you could win. I could do it and win at least 50 games with this squad. Right. <laughs> Probably more, honestly, because they don't need me. Yeah. They don't need anyone. They, they, they're... They are selfless enough, and they know how to win. They've already won a championship, and they're insanely talented. That they, they don't need anyone. It's a special group of guys. It, it is. And, again, not to disrespect Steve Kerr, but he didn't coach the team for a good portion of the year, and his, his interim head coach, Luke Walton, who never coached a team ever in his life right. as a head coach. Well, he coached some summer league. Come on. Okay, maybe some summer league. All right, all right. You know, to, to for him to have even more wins than Steve Kerr, again, I'm not trying to disrespect either of those guys, but I think you shouldn't put it all on the coaching. I mean, give me a break. Right. U- unanimous MVP. Unanimous MVP. That says everything you need to know. Right. I agree. It's well, never happened before. And maybe a conversation for another day, and, you know, I don't know where we're at on time, but... Two minutes left. Something to pine over is, who is the most important player on the Golden State Warriors? A lot of people say it would be Steph, and and I think you can make a really good argument that Draymond Green I agree. is I really agree. the glue that holds it together and sort of the the attitude, right, if you will, that is that is pervasive amongst the team. Um, he's the vocal leader, uh, but he's also sort of their muscle. Him right. and, and, and maybe Bogut, Bogut to a certain extent, but Bogut doesn't have the impact offensively and assist-wise and shooting that Draymond Green does. But maybe, you know, I think there's a good argument there to be made that Draymond Green is the most important player on Golden State Warrior, a second-round pick. You know, a lot of these guys aren't, I mean, none of them are the overall number one pick or anything. It was done the right way. Other than Andrew Bogut. Yeah, oh, yeah, he was, but not of Golden State. Right. Um, You know, done the right way, and I guess it's just another compliment to Jerry West and the GM of the Golden State Warriors. Man, if I— What would it take for us to get Jerry West to help Dennis Lindsay? Not that he you know, needs it, but it's Jerry you, West. I'm just telling you, if I am a GM, I am throwing everything. At whatever Jerry West wants, get right. him there because everything Private he playing touches, back and forth. Unreal, man. The guy is incredible. He's the logo. He is. He's the logo. He is. He, he's accomplished everything on every single level you possibly can almost. Other than coaching. <laughs> yeah. He was an average coach. Very average. Yeah. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe. You can also uh, click on the Dog and Deuce logo to be taken to our website. We also got a couple videos up. Thanks. We'll see you next time.